What's going on, guys? What is going on? Oh, man, the, the lighting is terrible. Give me one second. Oh, that's honestly better. What's up, guys? Xenoheart13 here, and coming at you live once again with another unboxing video. I know it's crazy. Technically, I was supposed to unbox this about a couple days ago. However, due to the events that's happening in... Uh, Florida and all the other uh, states and stuff like that because uh, where I'm living in Tennessee and stuff like that we did also get affected by this uh, shipments got delayed from you know GameStop and all that other stuff but I finally got it today so you know and uh, honestly for those who are, are affected by the events of Hurricane Helene my prayers go out to you um, you know but honestly let, let's talk positive. Let's raise your spirits up a little bit. Um, we're going to be doing another unboxing in this one. If you read from the title of this video, once again, <clears throat> we got Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've tried every, you know, I play. I think I've played every single Sword Art so far. I have not gotten the chance to play the newest one, which is weird because I did do an unboxing for that one, I believe. Uh, I didn't get the chance to play it yet. Because I think it came out around the same time as another game that I was uh, playing. I forgot what it was called. Uh, last Recollection, I think that's what the last one was called. I I have it. I haven't gotten the chance to play it because there was a bunch of other games and stuff like that. But this is, uh, I believe, the sixth Sword Art Online game. We have um, Sword Art Online re Hollow Fragment or Hollow Fragment. And then you have Lost Song, Hollow Realization, Alicization Licorice. Uh, last recollection and then you have this one and then as a bonus there's also the side game called X Excel World Cross Sword Art Online which I do now own all of them if you include Fracture Daydream so enough of the intro let's jump straight into this unboxing <laughs> Starbucks cup over there. Just got home from work. Um, okay, so uh, right here from the front, you see a whole bunch of characters. I uh, got it for PlayStation 5 and it's rated T for Teen, sort of online fractured daydream. You got a whole bunch of characters. Some of these people I do know, some of them I do not. Uh, we, have, of course, got Kirito, Asuna, Leafa, Lisbeth, Sinon, Clive, Yuki, that's the commander, General uh, Akihiko Kaiba or Heathcliff, I think that's what his name is. Uh, we got Yuki, we got Alice, Agil, uh, that is, wow, what is her name? Um, I forgot what her name was. These are these two are from Ordinal Scale. That is, uh, oh my god, that's Kirito's friend in Alicization. It's, uh, uh, it starts with an E, I think, I don't know. Uh, that is, I think, his administrator. I think I could be wrong though. Uh, then that oh that is the 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 that's the dipshit from uh, uh, not lost song from uh, fairies sort of like you know uh, the fairy world. I don't know. And I think she's from. I think she. I think she may be from Gungale. I'm not sure, but. Uh, a lot of a lot of characters. Then again, this this game is I think like an online multiplayer. Uh, on the side we have Sword Online Fractured Daydream. It says, "Beyond memories, time, and space, enter a distorted version of the Sword Online world in this online co-op action game. Choose your role from popular Sword Online characters and play with up to twenty friends in raids to defeat powerful enemies. Link up with fallen friends and former foes." Play with uh, players from around the world and face adversaries from the Sword of Online series. Yeah, so that's why we have so many characters because it has like a up to uh, where is it? Uh, Twenty people. Uh, one player single player. You can do solo uh, if you're offline, and you can do one to twenty players with a PlayStation Plus subscription. And this has forty-eight gigabytes of memory. Jesus. Um, Subtitles and all that stuff is Japanese. It has violence, mild blood suggestion themes, and language. Basically the same as, uh, or basically the same type of rating as, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Sparking Zero. Okay, let's jump straight into this, guys. Got okay, guys, now I'm off to the side. 
Okay. And of course, they messed it up a little bit. How dare they? Um, okay, got that one. There's Ironcrad. Nothing really interesting. Okay. All right, that right there was a quick unboxing for Sword of Online Fractured Daydream. I am very sorry it took about like four days to upload this. Uh, but like I said, with the events of Hurricane Kalein, it's delayed FedEx shipments from, you know, which is honestly kind of weird because I don't think I really got, we didn't really get a delay for um, Dragon Ball. But then again, this one was supposed to come out on the 4th, and I'm uploading this on like the, the 9th now. So, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go start installing this, and maybe I'll make some videos uh, about Fractured Daydream in the future. I don't know, but right now, I'm going to try to upload some videos about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So, look forward to that, guys. I'm Zeno Hard 13 I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.